Hey, Justin Parsons here with Titleist at the Sea Island Golf Performance Center. You know, it's been a funny year to two years. We're looking at golf, the ever-changing map of the golfing landscape. And one of the things that we've seen a lot of people do is really start to pick up their club head speeds, monitor their club head speeds, try and, you know, get bigger, faster, stronger in the gym. So I'm just going to break down for those of you who are, you know, interested in this and starting to think along the lines of, well, how would I go about, you know, taking some of this information and applying it to me? It's very important that we recognize that there are three or four specific kind of avenues you can go down in order to gain more speed, more distance out of your tee shots, let's say. The first one is strength and conditioning and nutrition. Everything about the way that your body's operating, how well are you rotating, how quick are you rotating, how strong, how stable. We've even seen people putting on a lot more weight with protein shakes and all of those sorts of things. So there is definitely an opportunity there. You need to be a pretty serious golfer to be able to go down that route. The second thing is the equipment you're using. Titleist have brought out these TSI drivers this year. Unbelievable pieces of equipment, really, really fast. You know, I, I, mine is nine and a half degrees. It's optimized to, to what I do and what I can do. And that's a very, very specific area you can go down. Go and visit a really good club fitter. Get fit with a TSI driver. It's going to give you an awful lot more speed. The third avenue that you can go down is your technique. Doing things to be able to become more proficient at putting the club in the ball. That's kind of, you know, where I come in a little bit more. You know, I can liaise with the strength and conditioning and the club fitting team, but I can come in here and I can start to make recommendations, again, for individuals as to what they might want to do in order to hit the golf ball a little further, a little bit more solid, and then gain some of those extra distances. So for me, you know, at, at 45 years or coming 45 years old, you know, I've always had a bit of a restriction down through my right hip and right side. So one of the things I've always wanted to try to do is be able to wind that right hip up a little bit more. And by opening out this right foot, it might allow me to, to open up and rotate into that right hip a little bit more. So, you know, that's where I've been going in my practice, just opening that right foot up a little bit more than I'm used to, trying to complete my backswing. And that one's not bad. That felt as if I was able to get a little bit more range going back and then I can give it a little bit more emphasis going through. So I think if you can look at those three or four different areas, you know, digest where you might need to go in order to gain that little bit more speed, give it some thought, create some sort of plan, ideally hire somebody to help you to do that and maybe you can become a little bit more efficient and a bit of a longer hitter this year.